I'm JP. And I'm Brian Martinez. This week we'll shout out RCHA's events, a recap on Mental Health Awareness Week, a movie review, and a how-to, a weekly tech tip, and it's all right here, right now, on, on the Bulldog, Bulldog Bark. Bark. We're starting our weekly shout outs with a congratulations to our very own Skills USS State Champions in the Career Pathway, Victoria Alcantara Aureno, Lizzie Harris, and Rayleigh Odom. Also, a huge shout out to our freshman baseball team with our 7 2 district record. And Varsity Softball Girls are 10 1 in district with their latest win against Poteet. Last Stuco was, was named a National Gold Council of Excellence. That's the highest honor that can be received. Of Stuco, they really rocked it during the Mental Health Awareness Week. Here's a recap. I know how I take care of my mental health watching movies. Here's my latest review on Morbius. You need a doctor? I am a doctor. I should have died years ago. People all over the world have my disease. I'm here to find a cure. We have to push the boundaries, take the risks. If you're gonna run, do it now. In the pivot from the main Marvel Cinematic Universe, Morbius is Sony Pictures' latest attempt to ride the success of Spider-Man No Way Home once again to the box office. Jared Leto as Michael B. Morbius is not a compelling protagonist in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, the cast was done dirty across the board. There are plenty of interesting plot points set throughout the film and brought up again throughout the entire movie that never really go anywhere or really pay off in any way, shape, or form. There are plenty of interesting characters and side characters in the film that could pique your interest and that you wonder, what are they going to do with these characters by the end of the film? And by the end of the film, once the curtains start rolling, you realize they did nothing with those characters. The actors never really do anything. The plot points they set up never really go anywhere. It feels like a unfinished film, or as if a lot of the film was cut down and stripped from its most interesting parts to make this soulless cash grab that Sony Pictures just released to the public. The convoluted narrative didn't do the film any favors at all. It was pretty hard to follow along the entire movie, and for the most part, the film's plot is very uninteresting from beginning to end. There are a few points in the film where you start to pick up the pace, where you start feeling like, okay, this is getting interesting. And then in the next eight minutes, they don't do anything with that. And then all interest just dies in the next, like, five minutes. And the final thing I have to touch on are the post credit scenes. They are, as a matter of fact, for sure, the worst post credit scenes in any film in the history of cinema. These post credit scenes not only ruin this film, but other films that this film had no right to ruin. Morbius feels like a soulless, unfinished, rushed cash grab. Sony did the movie dirty, the marketing was misleading, and ultimately it's just a very disappointing film in the end. In conclusion, Morbius feels like a huge missed opportunity for Sony to prove themselves. Morbius gets a disappointing 4 out of 10 on the scale. This has been Brian Martinez for The Bullock Park. That was a great review, but you also know what tastes great? Mozzarella cheese sticks. Here's Miriam's how-to. Welcome back, Bulldogs. Today we're going to be making mozzarella cheese sticks. Let's get started. You will need... Mozzarella cheese sticks, eggs, flour, breadcrumbs, and oil. Unwrap your mozzarella cheese sticks and place them on a plate. Grab your mozzarella cheese sticks and dip them into the flour, then egg wash, and then breadcrumbs, and repeat with the other cheese stick. Grab a pan and put some oil and eat your stove. 
When your oil is hot, dip your mozzarella cheese sticks in the hot oil and spin them around with a spatula or tongs until crispy. Caution, oil is very hot. And voila, the mozzarella cheese sticks are done. I give them a 7 out of 10, they were pretty good. Happy cooking, Bulldogs! Last, here's Jacob's tech tip to make your life easy. What's up, Bulldogs? Is your Chrome Extreme starting to hurt your eyes a little bit? If so, then here's something to help with that. So when you go down to the time, click on the settings, and then when you go to device, displays, and go down to nightlight. Then whenever you click that little arrow, your screen will start to turn a little bit orange. And you can adjust how cool or warmer the screen is going to be. But if just making your screen orange doesn't really help, you can press the brightness buttons on your keyboard. That's all for this week, Bulldogs. This has been Brian and JP signing, signing out. out.